that's going to be a very good artillery position for you. Cannon up here on the ridge line. If you are located here in the sunken road, even if they <coughs> wanted to, which of course they wouldn't want to, but even normally you don't want your artillery behind your infantry. But here it doesn't matter because the slope of the ground is such that they cannot misfire and hit you down here. So that's a great artillery position, nice high ground shooting out over the infantry here into the Union troops that are approaching for this half mile of open ground back here. So look at the half mile of open ground. Okay, now look at back me because you don't, you know that it's not really there anymore. My pictures, and again, you're going to protect me case, I'll come around me through all of you, but it's got the town in the background, my fingers pointing at the stone wall in the picture. You see the open ground in the background. And at the end of the tour, I'll be glad to let you see these closer to if you need to. Picture is still more open ground, but now the town's at the bottom, and my fingers pointing at three little houses that are along the front of the road. And although the heights are here in the picture, they're right near my finger behind it. It's not a mountain, it's a ridge line. So it's not something that would be overwhelming to climb in normal terms, but being fired upon and trying to run up that ridge line with Confederate pointing guns at you and shooting back. That's a little bit different. Next picture is the same thing, but now just a more panoramic view. So I won't hold that with anything pointed at. I'll just sort of show you. Sneak attack here. Not at this spot. <laughs> too much. And actually, at the other end of the field, you're not going to have it either because there's too much open ground at that point. The third big advantage here is the sunken road and the stone wall itself. The wall was a retaining wall. What I mean by that. Further down, there's an area, let me back up. The sunken road is sunken due to erosion. It was a very heavily traveled road of the day. That's hard to picture today now that it's closed to traffic and we're standing here going, hmm, no cars, no wagons, no horses, no 